And also getting back to her not being able to go on auditions for anything even though vaguely ethnic, mm-hmm. even though you look ethnic. She recently did the 23 and Me thing, and that was sort of a big deal for the Neanderthal episode with you and Michael Ian Black, oh. who found out he's like the most Neanderthal person he can be, right? He is. He yeah. Is. And you can kind of tell by the forehead. Yes. Well, right. He does have a sloping forehead. Yes. And he was very That's thrilled about that. It was yeah. like the most made him, it made him feel sort of uh, not just fully... Well, unbelievably white and all. we all just want to be special right? <laughs> so that's what it is I'm the most of something that's incredible yes well and she was very disappointed what to find you? that she was there so was nothing very ethnic about her Italian on my mother's side Ukrainian on my oh father's my side with some uh, Polish and uh, Hungarian in there and then I'm 3% Greek I, aren't we all? I can see that it's a little. It's all bit. Greek. Yes. To it's me. so yes. bad that I don't make any differentiation on anything you just said. <laughs> <laughs> it came back. I am a ninety-nine percent East European. I feel so bad. Like she's breaking it down in percentages, and I'm just like, this shit all sounds the same. <laughs> <laughs> all you heard was Harry Holy White, shit. Harry White, Harry that White. Is so fu- that's so fucked up. How much we do not know about each other. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. 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 Well, and by the way, see her crushing grapes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I would love to crush some grapes. <laughs> that is a good sitcom foible that you could do. Um, did you actually do the 23 and Me? Because I remember you could talk about Michael doing a lot. But I did. I have very little Neanderthal in me, which I'm not proud of. I mean, I think it would be neat to have some more Neanderthal. I had a lot. You had a lot? I had a oh, lot. I can see that. Yeah, I think I had about as much as MIB. I can see uh, that. Is that a <laughs> yeah. compliment? Or? Can, no, I think it's, listen, uh, 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 Michael Ian Black never gets sick, and so they're, they're so some people... You don't either. I never get sick. Is that true? That's yeah, that they're, they're better, they're better, there's better immunity. There's also a really weird thing in that there's a weakness, though. If you have high Neanderthal content, follow me here, if you start to smoke... It's extremely difficult for you to quit. If you're very low on the gene that allows you to quit smoking. This is you're really hitting on, home. Because the thing is, you're running on. It's like a muscle memory. You're you're training. Right. You're always training yourself to endure or do a task. You know. Right. Yeah, and you just get better at it over time. And uh, I think you're. He's sort of dancing around it. You're also really dumb. And yeah. now at least I have an excuse. That's what it's it is. Me. You're happy it's to have the excuse. I think it's intelligence yes. at another level, to be honest with you, though. Because think about the smartest people have trouble doing the simplest shit. So, you know, like... It's a whole book smart thing. Right. A book smart yeah. person would have trouble getting up and going to the gym every day. They're just... Uh, versus a dumb Neanderthal can get there and get itself in shape. And, you know, if it's going to be better for your health. And that can be proven. A smart person can understand exercise is better for my health, but they struggle to do it every day because... They're just dumb in that area. He's a master stair master. Yes, I am. <laughs> I brag about it constantly. I wish stair mastering was an Olympic sport. Uh, 